scientists have described this innovation as a revolution. It is a simple blood test that helps differentiate between depression and bipolar disorder. Now, bipolar affects millions of people around the world, but misdiagnosis is common. And so this test could have a real impact. To tell us a bit more, Julia Seeger is with me. And just explain to us why such a test could be such a big deal, Julia. Well, first of all, bipolar disorder is a chronic mental illness that uh, causes mood disturbances. So the patient is going to go through cycles alternating between what we call states of excitement, so manic episodes and episodes of depression. And between those cycles, he can actually feel really good in a stable mood. And the problem is that those cycles, they actually change in intensity, duration, and frequency from one person to another. So it's very hard to be able to diagnose it. And here in France, at least, it's considered that it takes about six to eight years to diagnose someone with bipolar disorder. And it's even believed that 40% of people who are depressed could actually be suffering from uh, bipolar disorder. Now, the problem is that you want to be able to make that distinction because you're not going to give the same treatment. For people who are depressed, you can just give antidepressants. But for people who are bipolar, you need to add what we call mood stabilizer. Mm -hmm. If you fail to do so, then the condition of the patient is going to worsen in a considerable way. The uh, manic episodes will increase, the cycles will become shorter and more frequent, and then it raises the risk of suicide in a very considerable manner. One uh, patient that is not treated out of two that uh, is can, will attempt suicide and 15% of them will die. So this is why it is so important for bipolarity to develop uh, a tool that would help in the diagnosis of the condition to be able to diagnose it well and then give the right treatment to help these people and to save them from suicide. Okay, so just tell us then a little bit about the test itself. Well, it's, uh, it was developed by a French company in the south of France called Alstiag. It launched the test a year ago, and it's been on the market in Italy for a year, and it's set to hit the market in France in just a couple of days. And what they did is that they used AI to be able to sift through thousands of RNA uh, sequences in the blood, and they were looking for alternate uh, and altered uh, RNA sequences, and they were able to find eight of them, mm -hmm. uh, which, which really makes a difference between someone who would be bipolar and someone who would be depressed. And the accuracy rate of the of the test is considered to be 80%. Now, it's a simple blood draw, and it takes about a month to be able to analyze it, but it helps avoid about 10 years of what we call therapeutic wondering. Okay, so it sounds like it could be really significant indeed, Julia, but it's not cheap. No, it's not cheap. And the reason why is because at least here in France, it's not reimbursed by a social security. You're going to need a prescription uh, from a psychiatrist. But the procedures for the reimbursement are ongoing. It could take one to two years. Now, also what's interesting is that using the same principle with AI, they were also able, the same company, to identify RNA sequences that could be responsible for schizophrenia. So it's really opening the way to a better diagnosis and also to help better treat people with mental illness. All right. Such an important story. Thanks very much indeed for telling us a bit about that research. Julia Seeger for us there.